How's everybody doing? Welcome to the Flight Sim Deck. My name is Patrick, and today we're going to do a little tutorial video on how to add a window to your videos post production. Uh, the first thing you'll need is a wing view clip. So you will probably go into your uh, simulator of your choice and record it with Fraps or Shadow Play. I'd recommend Shadow Play. And then you'll have a clip of the wing and uh, it'll look like this and then what you'll need is the window and I was on a trip recently and I took some high quality shots of uh, two different window seats that I had and I am providing those on my website for you to download all ready to go and how you get to that is go over to theflightsimdeck.com and uh, you will click on the downloads page. This is the home page. You'll click downloads and you'll see this. And I have panels which I covered in another video. These are printable panels that you can use for various things. And here are the windows. I have two versions of a right window and two versions of a left. They're actually two different photos but I flipped them to uh, work accordingly. So you just click on that and it will take you over to Dropbox where you can download them. You go up here to these three little dots, click those, and click download, and you will have a PNG file of the window. Um, I'm also providing audio clips, because you can't have a wing view without the audio, so I have a audio clip of the boarding process, of a uh, safety briefing with a female voice, a safety briefing with a male voice, and then um, the cruise altitude sounds. And I will continuously add clips to, or yes, clips to this um, over time as I am on more flights. And if you would like to see footage of my, my flight, I have some pretty cool footage of coming up through the ceiling, landing and takeoff. I'll put that at the end of the video if you like that kind of thing. So once you go on here, download one of these window views and download um, a sound clip, all free, all provided to you. So in here I have the uh, audio clip down here I've muted the original one and um, here's the window so you will place it on top of your wing view clip that's what it looks like without and uh, you'll place it in here and stretch it out to about where you want realistically when you're filming out the window you're not gonna really have much of the border but just for the effect we're going to have that in here so I want it at about right there. Um, how I did this was I took, a, took the photo and I cut out the glass and I added, um, you know, you can't just have it be nothing, so I added a little bit of a glass texture, you know, so it looks like there's some, some stains and some reflections on the window to make it a little more realistic. So we have it set up like that and you want a little bit of a camera shake because right now the window is still and nobody films out the window that still there's always something going on so based on what the plane is doing at the time you can kind of add some effects and to do that you would go up to effects uh, actually effect controls make sure you have the window PNG file selected click here on motion and click this on position make sure that's blue what this means is you are starting to create keyframes so move the line up a little bit and then double click and you should have the window selected and what you want to do is just move it kind of slightly to the right or left up down um, any angle you want and uh, keep doing this just move it in different spots slightly you don't want anything too drastic and just uh, switch it up do do up and down uh, do the corner and just keep going along the video doing that. Probably about one or two more to go. And we'll go to the end here. Make sure you go all the way to the end. That'll work. Okay. Now let's go back and watch it. Now you may not get it perfect the first time around. You you might want to play around with it. Um, I wouldn't call this perfect the way I have it right now, but it's it's uh, good enough for the for the demonstration. So I would just mess around with the keyframes 
over here, uh, each of these little diamonds represents one of the keyframes, and you can move them around wherever you want. You can copy them, paste them around, and uh, yeah, basically just get that little little camera shake. That's one way to do it. There's multiple ways to do this, but um, you can do it this way. And then with the audio clip down here, you have a, a pretty realistic uh, wing view video going on. And uh, that's really all you need to do. Just kind of base it on what the plane is doing. If going through some turbulence, you want to add heavy shakes to it. If the plane's turning, you want to you might want to move it in a certain way. Just kind of gauge it. Um, you could even watch um, real videos of people filming out the window and and kind of get a feel for how you should move it around for the camera shake. Okay, well, I think that is everything. So uh, if you need anything, go over to theflightsimdeck.com. Uh, basically, this, that's why I made that website, so I could have a place to put files like this for you guys to use in your videos. So uh, with all that being said, I will leave it at that, and I will leave you with uh, a few clips from my trip. All right, guys, take care. See you on the next one.